David McDonald, junior film production major, felt safe playing with baby elephants and posing with tigers. It wasn't until he rode a motorcycle taxi drunk that he doubted his safety abroad in Cha'am, Thailand. He kind of like hit this point where he kind of like wobbled a little bit and swerved. McDonald's temptation to save money This is how I'm gonna die. could have cost him his life. Courtney Turner, junior advertising and marketing communications major, felt safe from start to finish while she studied abroad in Geneva, Switzerland. You had to swipe in to get in the building and then you had to swipe in to get in your hall, and then you had to swipe in to get into your suite door, and then you had to swipe again to get into your door. Unlike Turner, Roberto Jones, junior international studies major, was precautious about studying in Guadalajara, Mexico. Two buses were blown up in the center of the city while Jones was there. Students need to be aware that when they go abroad, they're not in St. Louis. Rodriguez said the main crimes to worry about are pickpocketing and theft. McDonald was a victim of theft when $170 was stolen from his debit card. Six of McDonald's friends were victimized as well. And I lived on about 80 bucks for three weeks. Two common safety tips to remember while abroad are to be aware of their surroundings and use common sense. Be aware, be conscious of the fact of where you are. Use common sense. Use your gut instinct. If you feel like something's not right, then don't do it. This is wonderful. The world loves me. And like, the world does love you, but things happen. So you just need to keep an eye on what's happening. McDonald agrees that despite a few safety precautions, the study abroad experience is wonderful. With Journalism Boot Camp, I'm Sierra Hancock.